How did it feel to get back out there, especially after the spring, you know, when uh, you weren't able to go see much at all? Yeah, it felt great. Um, you know, just being able to strap yeah, up a helmet uh, again and get out there and, and full go, uh, no restrictions, felt amazing. With, uh, you know, the, the coaches have kind of talked about, you know, the importance, you know, even last fall camp, got dinged up a little bit. For you to be healthy this fall camp and kind of hit the ground running and stuff, how much of a difference will that make? Because I think you even mentioned that, you know, you, it took a little bit of time to get back last fall. Yeah, um, definitely will, will make a big difference, uh, staying healthy and being able to push through and just, you know, flow on into the season without any uh, interruptions, any injuries or anything like that. So I'm excited for this fall camp, excited to feel good. And, uh, you know, we're looking good, we're, we're playing fast and physical, and, and we're just going to continue to work and try and get better. How eager are you to kind of be that guy, and the coaches have said it, that, you know, that if, if it comes to it, they want to give you the ball as much as humanly possible and stuff like that. You know, how, how excited are you? to take on that role and, you know, and, and trying to embrace, you know, that, that workload that will come with it. Yeah, definitely excited. Um, never, you know, I'll never turn down any type of work that they want to put me to, whether that's, you know, kickoff returns, anything, special teams, getting down there and making some tackles on special teams. Um, I'm, I'm all for it and I'm excited to do whatever workload they, uh, you know, present to me. You know, you, you do look at the junior season and under Harris, I know we talked about this in the softball game, but you look at that junior season that Jay had and Jay Mac had and that was the season that both those guys made a huge jump. Why is that? Is it, is it just coincidental or is there something to it? Um, I think it's just a process. Um, that's what with any player here. Um, they, they have a process and you follow that process, you believe in that process, and you'll just continue to get better. If you do things right, and you, you know, go into it with that blue collar mindset. And uh, we have a tradition here and, and that's just do the work, just work hard. Uh, be committed to it, and as long as you do those things, you know, it'll fall into place. And a lot of those guys end up, you know, working their way to the top, you know, athletes uh, later after a couple years in the pro in the program and uh, believing in the process. You look at those seasons, and, and Jay had almost 400 touches as a junior. Jay Mack had 350 touches near that as a, as a junior. You know, I guess what kind of goes through your mind when you, when you hear those numbers, and uh, are, you, are you excited to see if maybe you could? Do that or? Yeah, I de I've never heard those numbers before now, so uh, definitely it's exciting to know that you know you could possibly be touching the ball that many times this season coming up. Um, you know, whether it's more, whether it's less, I'm gonna make sure that I make the best of any opportunity they give me. With uh, with you know, you, when you kind of talk about goals, you know, for for this season, uh, you know, K. Cole is talking about he wants to you know miss fewer tackles, things like that. You know, when you look back last season, yeah, what do you want to be better this year? I'd say definitely, uh, you know, net, no drop balls this year. Had a few uh, last season on some some checkdowns, take my eyes off the ball. I just want to be dialed in that pass protection. You know, uh, you can never be perfect on pass protection. I want to improve that. And then making guys miss and, and finishing in the end zone. I had one game where I uh, got hawked down in Utah State, and I, I told myself never again. So uh, I kind of made up for a little bit, but still got some more making up for it to do. So I'm excited to get out there and, you know, show – what I can do. You guys had some, you know, some games where you weren't able to move the ball too much, and it, you know, that was wasn't one of the better rushing seasons they've had in 20 years here and stuff like that. How much did you guys discuss that, I guess, in the off season, and how much has that been a goal to say, you know, to, to you know turn that around and have yeah. it be more like Boise State? Um, definitely something that we we went over, especially going into that bye week. We, you know, we weren't playing Boise mm -hmm. State football those first couple of games, and uh, we knew we had to hit it downhill, fast and physical, and we just been preaching that uh, throughout and just. You know, emphasizing that that's our type of style, that's our type of run game that we need to, need to implement every week and every game. So we go into every practice and uh, prepare to run like that every time. Yeah. You look around that running back room, you guys are all pretty big. I mean, like the smallest guy is, is Robert Mahone, who, I mean, I don't know if he's ever been the smallest guy <laughs> in a running back room before, but you guys are all pretty big. And what's your first impression of Van Buren, too? I mean, he's checking in here 230. Yeah, I mean, uh, the biggest group of backs that we've had in a while. Um, everyone topping over, you know, 205 is probably the lowest uh, one of us checked in at. And so uh, we got a pretty good looking room. Um, I'm excited to see how things pan out, how, how guys get in and, and affect the game. Uh, Andrew, he's, you know, he's a fast learner. So I'm excited to see how he kind of steps into the office and, and gets things going and uh, starts to learn new plays here and there and how he'll just shape out. Um, right now, you know, he's in a cast a little bit, so he can't really do too much, but uh, he's still looking good. 
Lee said that you've been doing a good job of prehab, is what, what he said. Is you uh -huh. know, that you've, you've been going in and being very conscious about yeah. trying to, you know, be healthy now, and, and you certainly want to carry that into the fall. How how, yeah. how big has that been for you? And you know, especially considering that you had the, some dings here and there, nothing yeah. major, but trying to avoid those things, I guess. Yeah, that's probably one of the most important things right now is just taking care of your body. Um, you know, we're going at it uh, so many hours of the day, uh, lifting, practicing. So. One of the most important things that we can do is just take care of our body. And so I'm trying to get in early, trying to stay late, just taking care of my body and just making sure that, you know, if I can avoid twisting the ankle, if I can avoid hamstring pulls, anything like that, I'm going to try and avoid it to the best of my ability. Alex, how would you describe your bond with Lee and him having his background here at Boise State and playing the same position that you do? Yeah. How much of a benefit is that? I think it's a great benefit. Um, it's, it's nothing like having a coach that's been through what you've been through. And we have coaches like that all throughout the staff that have played at the level that we're at now, and that can give us that knowledge and help us out. And I think that really just ties into this program and what we're about here, the culture here. And, uh, you know, Coach Marks, he'll never try and tell you to do something that he couldn't have done himself So he and that he doesn't believe that you can't do. So, um, I mean, we, we've been building a bond. We've been coming closer as a room, as a unit, doing things outside of football together just to make sure that we have that close bond. So when it comes down to those tight-knit games, you know, we can trust our brother to our left and our right. Whether it was, you know, against Fresno State or Oregon, how, how tough was that for you? You know, it's kind of either not being able to play or not being able to play very mm -hmm. much or not being at 100%. You know, how, how difficult was that at the end of the year? Uh, it was tough, um, especially not feeling, you know, nothing like that before. Uh, it was tough having to come back out and, and not be able to do anything about it. Um, then when it came to Oregon, you know, I tried my best to get back and, and do what I can to play in that game. And I uh, got some plays in and got to play a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's disappointing when you can't go out there and help out and uh, do what you can to, to contribute. But, you know, I, I've had full trust in, in my brothers, and I know that they're going to get the job done without me. Um, Wolpen stepped in, Rob stepped in, and, they did a great job, and you know that's the type of thing that we're trying to build in the RV room is that we can trust the next guy up no matter what. A lot's been said about Rip, and now he's maybe changed this year, more of a vocal leader, more energy, maybe even quicker feet, they said. Um, what have you noticed as how he's changed and, and just the overall evolution of, of your quarterback? Um, yeah, definitely I, I could say that he's changed in, in those ways, and, and plus just, you know, he's, he's never been less of a leader. Um, it's just... Now he's stepping into his senior year, and, and he just knows everything like the back of his hand. He can help guide the young guys uh, just that much more. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely – I can see the, the quick feet. Um, whoever mentioned that, they're right on because he's definitely kind of scrambling a little bit more, getting, getting run a little bit. But um, his confidence is at an all-time high, and I think that he's going to do great things this year. In, in terms of the, the complexities of your offense, where, where do you think you're at? One, one thing that – Lee was saying in terms of that junior year, it's like, you know, usually there's less questions from you guys and it's more of you feeling out stuff. Where, where, where do you feel like you're kind of at in, in terms of your knowledge of the offense and, and feeling things out? Uh, yeah, definitely picking things up. Um, I can say now that I, I kind of know the offense pretty well to where it's not so much thinking of a play, just thinking of, you know, defensive ID, defensive fronts, uh, blitzes and things like that that I'm picking up and that I'm uh, trying to get to see the safety rotation and corners press or the off and, and things like that and so it's uh, it's a lot a lot easier now uh, I'm going into junior year it's great to have knowledge of you know where your receivers are at the formations and stuff like that what routes they have so I'm starting to get into things like that starting to pick up you know the, the receivers routes and uh, defensive identifications where so I'm more comfortable out there on the field and the other thing, uh, I know we talked about it a little bit at the, at the softball game about you getting on social media, or at least Twitter this year. Uh, it, it came up again at Mountain West Media Days. So, uh, Colorado State said they wanted to, to recruit you too, but you were a tough guy to, to get a hold of because you didn't yeah. have social media. So now that you've been on it for a little while, I mean, do, do you see how the, the benefits of it, I guess, or the potential um, benefits from it, I guess? I'm see, I see it more from a perspective of using the platform that we're blessed to have to impact others, um, to reach out to fans, to to get other people involved in what we're doing here in a special place like this. Um, you know, just allowing people to see that what we're doing, we're working hard, and just uh, trying to tap into fans and get them to have more of a relationship with the players, um, see it that way. But, you know, I deleted my apps for, you know, trying to focus 
fall camp, so it'll be hard to contract me again. <laughs> okay, so you're off now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be hard to contact for a little while. <laughs> Griffin's done it for two years, so. <laughs> that's good. He's already took the longest. Exactly.